Tamaki Makoto, Auckland is rich with people from a variety of cultures. I've been teaching teachers some traditional games from a few of these cultures. 23% of West Auckland is Asian, and 32% of the Asian population is Chinese. I learned a number of Chinese games from Sportway Takata's active Asian coordinator Jason Lee. One of the games I learned was Drop the Handkerchief. This game is commonly played by young children in China. When I ran it at my schools, a few students recognized the game from their kindergarten, making them feel more comfortable with their first few days at primary school. Most students enjoyed the activity as it's very similar to the popular game Duck Duck Goose. Another Chinese game I learned and shared with teachers was the eagle and the hen. The hen needs to protect their chicks from the hungry eagle. It's a fun tag game where students need to work together in order to do well. I also learned some Pacifica games from Sportway Takeda's Healthy Active Learning Advisor, Sarah Otto. During Samoan Language Week, I taught the Sasa, a traditional Samoan slap dance. We're going to be finishing off with a duck. Okay, so everyone, take those hands, hold them up. And mealy, 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 mealy. Patia! Patia! Little patty! Little patty! Little patty, malipo! Little patty, malipo! Tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it, I also made videos for students to play Pacifica games at home. Here, I show the kids how to play Heyu, a Tongan game where you use a long stick to flick a shorter stick onto a target. This video shows an activity that combines two Pacifica games. Ulumaika is a Hawaiian game where you roll a disc shaped rock through a gate and Pani is a Fijian game where you knock towers down using a ball. I incorporated elements of these two games to create a fun game for the kids to play at home. It was awesome using physical activity to celebrate our diversity here in Tamaki Makoto. In the future, I'll be running even more cultural games for the teachers and students to experience.